A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this collective reading. So let's dive deep into this collective reading and see what's the message for all of us. The theme card is a family member. You can see it, a family member. Let's find out what tarot and other cards have to say. There are some signs that I'm getting about the person I am doing this reading for. First of all, uh, you have the ability, you have like very good ability and very good, good intuition. So things that you say about other people, relatives, family members, like when we say the word family, it's quite huge, isn't it? It's not just one or two people or four or five people. Lots of people actually fall into that category. Anybody who's in our blood relationship is a family member, technically speaking. But nowadays, with the advent of modern society, modern world, families have started shrinking. And this is the reason why people are suffering. Because earlier they were healed people, healthy people, grandparents from both sides, maternal, paternal, uncles, aunties, cousins, you know, the whole year would just pass away in exchanging pleasantries or celebrating festivals. But now everybody is just busy doing jobs and making money and trying to make both ends meet. And obviously the definition of family has changed. Let's see what do we have here. False person. Wow, such a clear reading. So I can see there is a family member who's a false person. You can see the card. Okay. Let's see what more do we have about this person. I'm going to take out some cards from auto reading. Do evil and you get the same. Jesse karni vesi bharni. People reap what they sow. They have low self-esteem and also compete with their romantic interest. Romantic interest or you can say partner is also romantic interest, whosoever this person is. Lust is low frequency. Wow. So I sense some lustful activities around this family member. Failure is a mistake, only an opportunity to learn. Okay, let's see where this would fit in later on. We have some more cards. Repressed insecurities. I think we have more than enough for this particular energy. So we have a family member who's a false person who has a lot of insecurities about them. They have repressed those insecurities. They also possess lust. They're, uh, they make a lot of mistakes, but I think this is something about you more than them. Like you may have judged them incorrectly. That way you may have failed, but failure is a mistake, only an opportunity to learn. Maybe now you learn a lot more about this false person who's also a family member. This person has low self-esteem and they compete with their romantic interest big time. Do evil and you get the same. So it could be possible that currently you are experiencing or you are viewing someone who could have been, who could be a part of your family. And, you know, you are noticing that this person may be going through some problems, some difficulties. You, you also have compassion for this person. You maybe also have a helpful nature, you want to do a lot for this person, maybe, but you also feel that they are also reaping their own karma. They are receiving uh, the result of whatever they've been putting out. Like if they would have chosen the right things or they would have done the right things, they would have stood by the right things or they would have not been so attached to the worldly world because that is also being shown to me. Uh, about this person, this is not a completely negative character. What I see about this person is that they are false, they are wrong, but they also have a lot of insecurities 
and these insecurities have converted them into a false person because they're always doing things that give them validation or which make them look like the most amazing person on this planet. I think it's because of you this person has started focusing on inner work. I can sense a very strong energy around this person and around you, how this person is connected with you is basically that they may have lived a certain type of life which was not a very, you can say, good life. They may have been a very toxic person, but they have been learning from you. They have been learning from you because you are the one who saw them in their, you know, clear energy like you are the one because I was also given clear cognizance before this, right before this channeling started. I was told that you you have natural uh, clear cognitive abilities, whosoever I'm channeling right now and you can see a lot of things about people, you sense a lot of energies, you understand people much better so you can not only see this person as a negative character but you also see this person as a grey character. It's not like you agree with this person completely. You don't appreciate maybe a lot of things that they do to you or they might have done to others. This is a very selfish person. It's good to be selfish if you're selfish for your spiritual growth and ascension. Like that is the time where we want you to be selfish. But it's not good to be selfish. It's really bad to be selfish when you're constantly putting other people down. You're putting other people in trouble. You're giving them pain. You're making everyone fight. So this person has reflected these type of traits where they would see someone suffering, someone being miserable, but they would not do anything about it. They may have even just to keep their own uh, crown in place or you can say their own, you know, how people do family politics how to be good in that department, they may have even made other people fight. So you have seen their other side. As much as other people see their good side, you are one of the few people who can see everything that they've been doing, you know. And it seems to me that this person is unhappy, is probably suffering, but because of you, because of your presence in their life, they are doing inner work. They are working on themselves right now. And they feel extremely heartbroken. Uh, you have also gone through big heartbreak because of this person and uh, you now feel very relieved you feel very free from this person in some cases I'm also being shown that it could be a cluster of people it could be like not just one person but a lot of people four or five people representing the family for you but this card interesting card has come that uh, in Hindi we say pind chutna gala chutna letting go, being relieved, being free, feeling free, freedom at last after feeling trapped for long. So whosoever I'm channeling right now, you probably have lived with people or you've been with someone specific or maybe it's a cluster or group of people who you really loved, who really cared for, you really cared for. They gave you a very big heartbreak but also a very big lesson and uh, you are feeling very satisfied because see all the cards that I picked for you uh, when I say being relieved or pin shoot now actually it means when you are stuck in some place and you you're actually like out of that zone or that energy so they may have been attached with you they may have given you a big heartbreak and they left you because whatever ego games they were playing or whatever selfishness they were they were showing so they left you all by yourself, but it has turned out to be a blessing in disguise for you. So kaleja thanda hona, santosh hona, feeling satisfied, feeling relaxed, calm and composed. You feel much more calm and composed ever since you are out of these people's periphery or they are out of your periphery. You have a lot of faith and you believe in life and destiny. You also believe in karma. So you don't want to create unnecessary karma for yourself. These people have low self-esteem and they compete with one another. Like even if they're living together, say it's a couple maybe or there are two, three couples. Even if they're living together, even in the outside world, you know, socially they are together and they're happy. In some cases, they may be a wow couple also for some people. Like they have good social image, but actually they are competing with each other. Like they've 
kept each other hooked on they are each others jailers these people are with each other because they know that this is the best i can get and even to keep their own person around they have to keep doing things like so that their own partner is always like i'm going to be with this person i'm not going to get anyone better so there's a lot of mind game around their energy there is also a lot of lustful energy so i'm actually first it started with one family member and now i see or i sense cluster or i sense other people around but the whole situation is actually a great situation for you like it may have looked like in the past when these type of cards come in the wow this one came on tarot so in the past they actually ran away from you they had a very sneaky energy they left you behind they took whatever they could take from you and then when you had nothing left they just walked away and this something very wrong they did uh, you know something very negative they did and it probably hurt you a lot as well but uh, with time now you can see their colors because you get some kind of messages you got a lot of time thinking about life you got a lot of time understanding relationships you uh, spent a lot of time in solitude and hermitage uh, you kept quiet a lot you listened in more because you didn't have any other option they may have formed a group and they ran away they left you behind you know and even even if you did a lot for them or it could be possible that they're still together but you had to leave you had to go out like they may be ask you to leave in some cases they probably threw you out they said that they don't want you anymore or it could be monetarily uh, some kind of arrangement you had with them which probably wasn't working out so what they did to you was a wrong thing they did something very bad to you they gave you a very big heartbreak it made you really sad probably you were going through difficult times or probably you were trying to get out of your difficult times and i think that is a time where some kind of support would have been the best thing for you but i also feel that it had to happen it was predestined and uh, number 8 has been shown to me the infinity sign has been shown to me so i think you were always taken care of by source and masters but you had to go through these situations because you had to see everybody's true faces now this is a very important junction or you can say one of the very important stations in anybody's inner journey in a work journey is to understand that technically you're all by yourself okay so this is where i'm going to close this collective reading i will see you soon in another one for personal sessions and for therapies you can check out the description box below all details are given and this is my email address the sunamoon at gmail dot com and i will see you soon in another one one love peace out and jai shri ram